first location here. I don't know how many miles I am away from my house, but I know there's a mountain in between here and my house. So there's no way I could get line of sight with VHF, UHF, line of sight type radios. So I got the uh, HF radio here on 40 meters, 7 megahertz. I'm using a uh, dipole here that I showcased before. And finally we get to hit the field to test this stuff out. Uh, on one end here, I went as high as I could reach on a tree with my arms. Right there. And then towards the middle there, it kind of sags. And I think in the... It's not sagging too much, but in the middle there, it looks like it's uh, four feet from the ground. Not ideal. But uh, I'm going to roll with it and see what happens. I'm also close to that tree right there. And uh, I got some other trees in proximity plus a significant no not too bad of a canopy here so we're gonna see if this thing is able to communicate with the house where I have a listening post listening and the girls are out here with me as well it's mostly for them not for me out here but uh, it's all good so here we go here's the setup and we're gonna transmit there we and go. We are on the treasure hunt. Yeah, and the girls are on the treasure hunt. And it's transmitting. It's still transmitting. We're going to give it another shot. Hey, do me a favor here. Press this button. You're going to transmit. Transmit? Right here? Yep. Right here? Yep, that's it. You see? It's transmitting now. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Got to get them involved. Plant that seed just a little bit. But anyway, yeah, that's about it. One thing for sure is you have to do some site recon to deploy this antenna here. I know there's more smaller antennas out there, but uh, I'm starting with the basic. Hello. I'm starting off with the basics with the dipole antenna. That's the most basic antenna you could use from what I read. All right. The, my name's Sadie. Alright. Hi Sadie, how you doing? Hi. Alright, so this time around we got a little bit more of a clearing right up here, at least for half the antenna here. Or a quarter of it really uh, I'm going 90 degrees of my last setup here and there's my setup there and go on to this end here and I'm estimating maybe seven feet on this my sweet spot is eight to ten feet and there it is right there and it slipped out of here so I just put a uh, 69 knot here to hold it in place and here's part of the antenna as well like I said I don't think that would change much on the resonant frequency maybe slightly but not enough to cause any havoc so again I'm not using a uh, antenna tuner because as we seen on the last video we tuned this uh, to this frequency this one frequency so we're gonna transmit again the time is 10 transmit okay you gotta write it down on the log Alright, this is our third location here, and we're going to try to see if we can send out a signal from here. And uh, here in the Sierra Nevadas, we got a lot of granite. So, uh, according to the documentation, granite is not a good ground. Uh, so, we're going to see what we could do here.
It's probably noisy there with the rushing water. And I bet you can't see where my antenna is. Uh, site location is kind of slim pickings here. Like I said, every time you want to deploy this to, uh, to uh, transmit or whatever, you need to pick out your or scout out your site where you have enough real estate to string this thing up. I'm sure there's other configurations where it could give you more flexibility, but I'm not going to mess with those configurations until I master the dipole because that's your basic antenna. The dipole is pretty much a benchmark antenna to kind of see where we're at and then everything else is a compromise from that, from what I read. So that's why I'm still utilizing the dipole. It's easy, uh, forgiving in some ways, but uh, we'll see what happens here. Well, there it is, right there. So this is the one spot that I found that I could have uh, 60 feet of straight line going through here. It's not ideal. I got some trees above me. I got trees all around me. This will be a good spot, I guess, if you're hiding, maybe. But is it a good spot for getting your signal out? I don't know. I'm going to have to consult a listening post to see. So here's my antenna right there. See, it's up against this tree here. And uh, there's my center feed line there. And there's my station right here. And the other pole is, is wrapped around, the other end is wrapped around that post right over there, that wooden post. So we're going to try it here and see what happens. There's my setup. I got power. I'm transmitting. So I'm going to put the camera down so I can write down the time and uh, location here for my log and see what happens. Well, so sometimes uh, site location, you can't pick it out. It'll pick you out. Like in this scenario right here. Yeah, I could go out to a clearing. No problem, there's plenty of them around here, but what's the point to test that if you know it'll work there? I want to see if it works in something like this. You know, it's a good practice in case something happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear this one down, transmit once or twice again. For good measure, tear it down and hit the road. Oh yeah, one more minor details that I failed to mention. This is six feet. I could probably go a little bit higher, but it would have been a, a little difficult. Maybe, maybe not, if I have more time. I'm sort of like setting up, tearing down, setting up, tearing down. And I got the two kids and I have to keep an eye on them so they won't drown in the creek. So it's more of a hasty setup each and every time, but it was six feet on that location there. Right here in the middle with this terrain from the ground is actually about three feet. Yeah, I would imagine from this point on down is about three and a half feet from the ground right here in the middle. Then on the other location up there, This rolling sort of terrain here. I'm looking at maybe seven feet. Then the terrain again tapers down to around three feet. So it's not totally ideal as far as distance from the ground, which is important for Nivis. All right, this is our third location here. We're at a uh, lake and the girls are playing with mud. And we were up in those hills up there a little bit, so I figure we were maybe a thousand feet high. But 
in a sort of a ravine or a draw or a little valley up there drainage pretty much so I'm gonna have to see the map to see what the topograph was see what the topograph is uh, see if there's any natural uh, barriers from that point to my home so I set up another location in here I know I'm surrounded by mountains I got a 2,000 foot hill that way then it goes up to maybe 3,000 over to my left and I don't think there's no possible chance of uh, having ground waves or or uh, line of sight over to my house from this location here it would have to go straight up bounce from the uh, bounce and come right back down hopefully this time around site selection was in scouting was was better than the other locations we're in a park so uh, I got me a tree right here and that is around 10 feet right there so I have my required 8 to 10 feet for Nivis on a dipole and here's my uh, dipole antenna right here so I figure that's like 8 feet I'm still within my personal specs according to uh, the documentation and here's my uh, transmitter and I'm sending out a sequence right now it is transmitting and then I come way over here to the other side and it's hooked up to this tree right here and it's about seven feet this location here so it's somewhat of a downward slope from that tree to this tree so this right here would be a textbook ideal location and setup with the proper height the span and the uh, clearance up above uh, so far so far it's textbook sort of okay will it will it work I don't know uh, orientation I figure that way is uh, towards the ocean my house is over that way some so we're pumping out like at least six watts and uh, that's it I have no feedback so far as to what's going on here sending sending out another beacon and so far so good this is my final test here uh, the rest will be the results and I'm anxious to see what I find I think I'm gonna join the girls over there alright